Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com. This is Marcus Corva with Studio MMA and MMA Net, and we're here with Roy Nelson for UFC 146 in Las Vegas. And uh, the beard is back. Is that a pre-fight ritual? I don't, you know, pre-fight, um, post-fight. Uh, you know, fans like it, so I'm trying to I like it. it. It's. I think. I think a lot of people uh, that don't like it just can't grow a hair on top or hair on the bottom. It's just you know. So I'm. I'm. I'm just trying to because I can't grow any hair on the chest or in the back. So. Right, right. So I guess that's all the good spots. You don't want to get there. <laughs> But after the fight last time, you shaved it off. Uh, you know what? I, yeah, it was just something to do. You know, the news guys wanted something to talk about, so. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Can you do something else? Or can you dread, do dreads in here or something so we have something else to talk about as well? Uh, you know what? Um, dreads, I think, takes too long, so I can't do that in the post-fight conference. Right, right. Maybe pre-fight. Or is it something with it? Is it before the fight that, like, the hockey players, for example, they don't shave until the Stanley Cup is over or something like that? Um, you know what? Uh, some guys do that. Um, I just, you know, I, you know, I'm a heavyweight, so we're lazy. So maybe that's what it is. Um, last fight with Fabrice Verdum was uh, you, show, you showed your heart. You were so tough, uh, but it didn't go your way. Have you done anything different for this fight? Yeah, no. The, um, I think with this fight was, you know, actually bring people in for, you know, Bigfoot and you know actually train for you know and just bring people in for those opponents um i think that's the biggest thing i kind of changed Your, and that really didn't help me out because they kept on changing my opponent right right <laughs> so, so and now you're facing yet another tall guy in, in dave herman so um did you bring anyone in particular to 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 similar his style no i br uh, brought people in for bigfoot and then brought people in for gabriel gonzaga and then i just ran out of money <laughs> So you went back to sparring with Dan Hardy again? Uh, went, went back to sparring, yeah, back, back to 155ers and, you know, whatnot, so. <laughs> um, have you changed anything else except from bringing sparring partners in, in training in particular? Uh, the only thing probably is just uh, mentality a little bit. Um, I, with Bigfoot, I kind of, you know, went back to my roots, uh, to Kung Fu, and just kind of the just the mentality of uh, our sport and just... Uh, just did some realization of uh, how you know how things work uh, in our sport and um, if people cheat in our sport and and just how people handle themselves in our sport that they're actually stealing you know stealing money from my face you know from my family and from me. Right. So so it's more. Before I used to I used to be all you know, eh, you know if I could whoop his ass and I know he's on you know on the shit then it was good for me, but now. Um, did some realization. My wife's having a baby. You know, we're having a baby. So now it's, you know, I try to prove to her that you know our sport's really not that bad. But you know, maybe we have to clean one person up at a time. We'll start with me. Nice. And first of all, congratulations to, to having a baby. Is it your first one? It's my first. It's 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 a. Uh, I'm glad it's my first because if it, I probably would have been actually a bigger asshole three or four years ago if I've ever had a kid before. So it's turning you into an also, is that what you're saying? No, I it's uh, I think I'm more of a um, a good dad where I'm worried about protecting them. Right. And and not gonna take any shit. So just almost feel like now the money is it's now it's business. Now it's 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 time to make the money for the child to come and, and the wife. Is that is that how you feel? Um yeah, before I used to you know, I'd be the one that just, you know, you just tend to eat a little more shit and kinda of take it because you're like, Hey, I can fit for myself. But now you don't have to, you know, that, that shit wasn't working, so now we're going to change it up a little bit. So a, a, a different Roy, a different attitude towards the, the, the game in itself? The game itself, the, you know, the opponents, uh, you sign the contract, uh, you, you screwed up because it's not, you, you know, you're disrespecting me, you think you can whoop me up, you know, now I'm going to whoop you up. It's just the, just the whole game itself. So and and then the kung fu as well. It's not a lot of fighters in in mixed martial arts that come from a kung fu background. Uh, what style of kung fu is it that you come from? First of all, and what does kung fu bring to to mixed martial arts? Uh, kung fu, uh, I'd say, is probably the birthplace of jujitsu to you know all the grappling. But you know, like I got Northern Shaolin, uh, Southern Shaolin. You got regular trolley foot. You know, like it, everything's all based off of uh, kung fu of somewhere. It's one of, yeah, if not the oldest martial art out there. And uh, how did you decide to go from Kung Fu over to mixed martial arts? Uh, you know what? I wanted, uh, I went from learning Kung Fu and just uh, 
how I came into mixed martial arts was actually just kind of a fluke. I just wanted to be a B-movie star doing uh, B-movies and just getting paid to do martial arts. We heard a lot about martial artists going from martial arts into movies. I never heard of someone going from movies to, to mixed martial arts. Well, it's just getting paid to do martial arts. That, that was my dream, is just to get paid to do martial arts. Right. And this is, you know, one, one way to do it. So, looking at, you know, the most common ways of, of uh, coming into mixed martial arts, you were a wrestler, you were doing jiu-jitsu, and there was nowhere else to go in jiu-jitsu, boxing, kickboxing, coming into mixed martial arts. Um, what does Kung Fu bring to the table, or to the cage, as you say, um, that other martial arts don't as much? Uh, you know what, I want to say uh, the discipline and actually just the core values of, like, the actual art itself, not like, uh, like a lot of different martial arts, just, you know, it's just like... Um, they just kind of just do it. It's kind of like uh, like we'll use judo. Judo is more of a sport. Right. right. Or taekwondo is more of a sport. Um, but then there's the martial art aspect where you actually bring it to your everyday life. So after you're done fighting, you're still a martial artist. And because you, you're a funny guy and you are, you're very popular, fans love you. Um, you, you consider yourself a true martial artist. Do you do, you do meditation? Do you do any of the other parts of, of of kung fu as well? Yeah, no, kung fu. You do the martial artist, uh, uh, the you know the meditation part. Um, the other parts are you know all the way from like golden belt training, which would be you know where uh, body conditioning, and then you just do um, your. The way I look at it is like there's different things that you do, like uh, we'll say like katas or forms or Still whatever. Does. Uh, still do those, but not not in the traditional stance of going like this is Shaolin one and I do Shaolin one form or whatever. Right. I just kind of do like my own form, like a free form of myself, uh, doing different things where it uh, will help me with the fight. It's almost like kung fu version of shadow boxing. Uh, pretty much. I think we got it there. Roy Nelson, Saturday night versus Dave Herman. That's final now, right? That's who you're fighting. I believe it's Thursday. We still got two more days. <laughs> but it is Dave Herman. That as of uh, today, yes. Looking forward to see you back in the case. Thank you I very appreciate much. appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, my God. Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com.